He said, this is better than Wingspan. I... This is the review for the board game Life of the Amazonia. The I... good and bad about it. Just wait a bit. They already know this intro. By the end of this video, you will know if you should visit this jungle. We have six wild questions that we will answer in this video. But before we do that, Yanis, what hides in the jungle? <sighs> what doesn't? There's deck building, tableau building, variable powers. In this game, you are you trying to score the most victory points by doing a bajillion things. You're building your Amazonian forest with the waters, with the forest, with the sands, whatever that yellow thing is. Yellow thingy, blue thingy, and green thingy. In this game, there are eight animals that you can place in your Amazonian forest. And when five of them run out, the game end is triggered. Whoever built the better Amazonian forest, scored the most points, wins the game. Whoever builds most points wins the game. Not what I said. Anyways, all these animals have specific scoring. This frog really likes flowers next to it, so he's happy then. And then he scores more points for you. Essentially, each of those score depending on their placement in your jungle. Moving on, the waterfall gives you new Amazonian tiles, new trees, plantations, and also scores you points. On your turns, you will have five tokens that you can use as resources to buy new stuff or plant trees. There are eight types of actions you can spend your tokens on. For example, shutting Yaris up takes all the tokens. Yes. It was just one. Wait a minute, I have more. When you spend all the tokens or don't want to spend any more tokens because you can save some, you finish your turns, draw new tokens for your next turn, and the next player goes. You will get new tiles, you will buy the animals, well, buy, you're not buying them, you're spending resources for them to come to live in your jungle. Since this is a bag builder, you can buy better tokens to add to your bag. There's different cards that give you magic powers. There are seeds that are wild tokens that you Fun can intended. use. Wild and Amazonia, yeah. that's why. <laughs> Good one. He's it's trying. fine, you can laugh he, later. He's trying, he's trying, okay guys. And different other things that make this game pop. But is any of that Good. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it in the next few questions. And the first one, who is this for? Three, two, one. Dreams of career in parks and recreation. This game is all about nature, about animals, it looks cool. The game itself is very much about planning, about how you will put these terrains, where to place them. A bit of this numbery game. People who could work at parks and recreation could play this game and uh, have a blast playing it, as well as the gameplay itself, pulling out those tokens and buying something, feels like joyful and fun, like a TV series. So it's all here, okay? Parks and Rec, here you go. I haven't seen it. Should I yeah. watch it? Is it good? It's pretty fun, yeah. yeah. I have simpler up and coming gamer. Wingspan, Cascadia, other nature games. This one seems like has way more. On your turn, you can do eight different actions, and at first, it's super daunting. Sure, you're limited by the tokens you draw from the bag, but still, that's why up and coming gamer, because I don't think this is a good intro game into the hobby but for a gamer it's gonna be easy so it's somewhere in the middle if you're like played already some games and they're like i want something juicier then this is uh, one for you what are the best things about this game my third best thing about this game is gonna be the boats i mean i have to mention the boats if you've played the back builder or deck builder you get some things you use them, you discard them. Take them all up, put into your bag or shuffle your deck. This game comes with these little boats and whenever you get a token and use them up, you discard them into this boat and then slide it all back into your bag. I know it doesn't sound like much. It's a very minor thing, but that just shows you all the small and intricate things in this game that just really works. Some love put into it, just polishing it, making it look good and uh, feel really nice. For me, it's uh, two players. I think the game shines with two players. If you mostly play with two players, I think this is a brilliant game for you because it's quite quick, you don't have to wait for a lot. From A to B. Right. You start out with just one tile, some tokens into your bag, and pretty much nothing else. But then by the end of the game, you have your own big board, you have many cool tiles, you have animals on your board, you have trees, you have flowers. Even if you don't win, you've built this. You came from nothing and built this, and it just feels good. Gets better? The more you play it, the game gets better. The first time I played it, it was a bit overwhelming. Especially I played it with you, 
and your patience is similar to a kid who's waiting to open his Christmas presents. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Not that bad. You're just taking forever. Yeah, Sometimes your worse. turns even took 10 seconds. It's like, come on! Exactly. It, it might be a bit daunting because there's a lot of animals. Each of them score completely different. Eight animals is a lot. Then you have these cards that I just ignored the few, first few plays. Yeah, same thing for yeah, us, yeah. Just, these are extra. Who needs them? But the more you play them, the more you learn the cards and see their value, the more you realize how different animals can score, not just from their own cards, but they can score thanks to each other. The placements are very important from the first turn to the next. So this game just awards you for playing it and it gets better every time you play. It. It's a great compliment to a game that challenges you and gets better every time you play. My first thing is gonna be always something to do. There isn't a point in game where you go like, I guess I'll just skip a turn. There's nothing for me to do now. No, there's always. Question is, which one do you do? I love games where you never feel stuck. The first thing for me is the bag building. I mean, that's the main mechanism, the boat included. First of all, you draw at the end of your turns. So while other people play, you can try to figure out already yeah. your turn. That's amazing. Number two thing is that each turn will be different depending on what you get. And all of those turns always feel useful and nice. Anything, buying new tokens is nice, getting animals is nice, everything feels good. And the third thing is that you can keep few tokens to the next turn. So even if you couldn't get the thing done that you wanted in this turn, you can make sure you keep tokens and then in the next turn you will most likely get it yeah, done. Yeah. And you can upgrade to be able to leave more tokens for like the next three turn. Three is maximum, so yeah. you draw five, you could have eight tokens. Doesn't mean it's the best choice, but sometimes it is. Bag building here is really perfect, really, really yeah. nice. Well, let's stop gushing about it. There are some things that might not be for you. It's busy. Uh, and what I mean with that, there's a lot of things going on. First game will feel uh, daunting for sure. We played a lot of times with my wife and she still struggles with the uh, water cards. It feels like they could not be there. To be honest, they could and the game would still work fine and you would still have so much to do. Also, there are these eight animals, each score in a different way. That's a lot. Placing like one animal impacts all other animals. Because so, there might be an animal that wants to be near trees and then there's an animal who wants to have a lot of animals in its territory. How do I match these together? It's downtime. With four players, I think you're gonna wait a long time until your turn comes around. For me, it's more the turn length. Some turns where all that you will pull out is money. And money you can just spend here to buy new tokens. And the choice is super simple. Take one of these, put it in a boat, your turn ends. While the other person might have a bunch of fruit and leaves to buy animals, then maybe some More wild tokens to exchange to cards. That's the way how some turns go. And then that might be annoying for some. Okay, so this is a super tiny thing. It's no interaction. Again, it's not really a bad thing. You do your own thing carefully, take your time. Easy. And I'm more of an interaction guy, but this game's fine for me. I'm pretty much so busy all the time planning how to yeah. create my perfect little jungle. You never know who's winning the game. Yes. Unless you're playing against him, you're gonna win. You don't know how good he's scoring because it takes too much time to count all the points and how animals work there and what he's hiding there. Yeah, you always feel good until the end. And when you see the score, it's like, nah, I am happy with mine yeah. thing as well. I understood when you said when you're playing with me, you're gonna win. My company is so good and you're playing with me is already like winning yeah, a game. It's a good time always. Got it. Yeah, Thanks for yeah, the compliment. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. That is what you meant, right? Well, it's not what I meant, but I do mean it. No, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. But what do you mean you didn't mean? <laughs> what is the best alternative, right? No, honeymoon. 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 So what's the best final the rating alternative of honeymoon and why this game is not for you, but before that, three best things about the game. Yep. Three, two, one. Tons of excitement and tons of uh, content. These are the two things I think you should always be looking for in uh, replayability of the game. Uh, and here's both of those. I yep. think this could be in your collection for a really long time. I have liked the rainforest. Hopefully, never gonna run out, right? Literally, the box has no insert, pretty much so. And it's full, it's full yes. to the brim. So no problems with the honeymoon. But what is the best alternative? Three, two, one. Living forest. Canopy, that's a good alternative. The theme will fit. Deck building is there. There is, yeah. yeah There's building your own little board as well. 
And it's also a bit heavier game. It's not for non-gamers as well, so I yeah. feel like it's a similar weight. In general, it's a deck building game where you try to build your decks so they get you to a victory condition as quick as possible. Yeah, and there are three different victory conditions you could achieve to win the game. Yeah. Mine's Canopy, it's a simpler two-player card game. It has the basic same feel as this one. It's also a rainforest, you build trees, you get animals that score different ways, more interaction there. There are actually nasty cards there. And it's a great two-player game. It feels like thematic, theme-wise, it kind of feels uh, uh, very close to this. Three, two, one. Really good. Plus, 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 plus. Couldn't you just write down fantastic? Nah, nah, nah. It's like a 7.9 okay. for me. Yeah, okay, so how many pluses does really good need to be fantastic? Four. Four. So, mm -hmm. almost. So all the components, everything is great here. It's a bit busy, but all those things are just minor things that all come together and make a brilliant game. We really, really enjoy it. I will keep this in my collection as well. Same here. Uh, for me, it's a perfect two-player game. Works fine with three. I will probably never play it with four because it takes too long. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's a fantastic game. There's so many choices. It doesn't do anything too original except the boats. It's a great mix of different mechanisms. Great but game. Check it out for yourselves. We do recommend this one for sure. See you next time. Bye. And also, remember about the merch. Yeah, and also, what's your favorite nature theme? Game minus the wingspan. Mm -hmm. And Cascadia. What's part? Uh, Eric Nola. Yeah, don't mention those. Earth. Stop. <laughs> Earth is fine. You can mention Earth. Is Earth your favorite?